go. Audio redirected. Alright, you can actually see the screen now. And, you know, a bunch of shit popping up because this PlayStation just doesn't want me, uh, doesn't want to show you my messages. Which is like, whatever, I don't get messaged all the time, and even then, my messages are disabled. So it's like, go ahead, show them what pops up, but whatever. So, earlier I posted about a three-minute broadcast, uh, me explaining the last tiger bug I came into. And, actually, someone else went on and... Agreed. Like there, there. It's not just me that's having this bug. So I'm gonna post um, a full playthrough of the Last Tiger once again. So the bug is easier to understand. So first of all, like I said in the last one, you can see I need one more letter and one more challenge. But you can see in the letters area that I have six out of six letters. Immediately, I think you can figure out what's going on. So what I need to do is apparently, rather, I need to complete the chapter without repairing okay and then I need to get one letter and then this one I'm already done now here's the thing I'm gonna go through on medium and I'm going to complete every single challenge on this video and then show you that it does not give me the credit for it and also I'm gonna pause in every single section and show you that it in game has given me credit if that makes any sense so we're gonna go medium because i don't want to do hard or hardcore right now and plus that's gonna make you know doing it without repairing even harder so i could i could barely go through it with easy because when i did it somehow when i did it on medium it was actually not as hard compared to um <sighs> brain fart compared to easy and it was kind of weird i think it was just because uh just a mindset that it was going to be easier so i got myself into a harder position than me literally sitting in the background camping like you really should be with a tiger i mean that's what it was designed for you know long range and taking hits like that tiger could fuck a bitch up from a distance tigers would sit in the back and fire from the ridge lines and the panzer fours panzer threes would push up and just basically blow themselves up with all the AT mines. Als ich ein Kind war, wurde eine Gruppe von Jungs im Dorfladen beim Clown erwischt. Mein Vater war außer sich, als er davon erfuhr. Aber ich habe doch gar nichts gestohlen. Vielleicht, sagte er. Aber du warst dort. Mein Name ist Peter Müller. Kommandant des Tigerpanzers 237. Und ich war dort. So bald alles vorbei. Müller! Sagen Sie mir, dass wir Nachschub kriegen. Und einen neuen Funker. Das wäre gelogen, Kerz. Ich lüge niemals, das wissen Sie. Es ist sehr anständig von Ihnen, Kommandant. Tja. Kommandanten können sich es eben im Gegensatz zu fahren nicht leisten, jeden Mist auszusprechen, der in den Sinn kommt, Schröder. Ja, Kommandant. Auf Ihre Position. Muss der dir eigentlich die ganze Zeit hinterherlaufen wie ein Streunder und? Er ist noch ein Kind. Dann hast du ihm ja bestimmt die Parteilinie erklärt. 
Ich habe ihn nur daran erinnert, wer wir sind, Kerz. Seite. Weil wir uns nicht zurückziehen. Wir rücken vor. Was passiert mit denen? Die kriegen das, was sie verdienen. Scheiß Feiglinge. Gemeinsam sind wir stärker, vergessen Sie das nicht. So first of all, this is going to be a full playthrough and I'm going to be most, for the most part, quiet through all of it because I know that, first of all, t to myself at the least and to a lot of people, I can guarantee I'm cringy when I talk and I know that and I accept it, but there's just certain parts that I need to point out, like the challenges. You see how I uh, have check marks on both of them? menu I didn't and that's where the bug is I don't know what the fuck's going on but it's actually really pissing me off because no I didn't work too hard but I really like using the tiger tank and I really hate using the skin that it has so when you know I knew I could customize my tank skin I was really excited because I could get rid of the shitty skin that the tiger has on stock and I am not spending Ten to twenty thousand. Uh, what were those points called? I don't remember what they're called, but I'm not spending that many credits that I don't have. First of all, because I spent them on specializations on all of my vehicles and all the guns that I use. And as I'm pushing through ranks, because I don't really, I haven't played five much because. You know, I can sit down and I do enjoy the game a lot. It's just I don't play with a lot of people sometimes, so that makes playing by yourself, you know, it's kind of boring. But when I play with a group, it's fun. But I don't play for extended periods of time like I do other games because I just play solo a lot. So I, I haven't reached rank 20 with all of my classes. All of my classes are at least rank 10, yeah. But, you know not rank 20. So I'm still pushing through. I'm still getting all these new guns. And I need coins to specialize those weapons. No, I'm not spending all of my coins on other, uh, all the weapons because some weapons I just find shit. So, you know, while specializations make them better, I just don't see the point of using weapons like the MP28. I think it was the 28 and the 38 the better one. I don't quite remember. Uh, we're talking about medics, but then you got, you know, ye old Tommy gun that I haven't unlocked. But I won't have the credits to purchase specializations for that gun. And that's an issue. And I'm not going to spend so many credits on a skin 
for one tank, mind you. Unlike Siege, you don't buy universal skins. Those don't exist in this game. So you have to buy them individually per tank. And while, yeah, I would spend that amount of credits if credits were easier to obtain, but you're only getting 300 a day for completing while easy challenges, but they're daily challenges, so it's a while before you can get new ones. And all the challenges that I got for pre-ordering the Deluxe Edition are now gone. So I've blown through every possible credit that this game could give me because I'm also rank 50, so I don't get credits anymore because I don't level up. So it's difficult because while you're leveling up, you get a thousand per level after level 21. And yeah, that's how many credits I've blown through. All of my tanks are specialized though, except for two, I think, between all of them. The planes, most of them are specialized, except for a lot of them, because I don't really use fighters much, except for the Spitfire Mark VB and the, well, the 109s I actually haven't used, but, well, that too much. So, you know, because there's this thing called the JU-88, and then there's these things called Stukas, so I find those better, and on another note, if you ever get the B2 get the um, 37 millimeters and put those things on because while they are not too good for what they're supposed to do, which is anti-tank, because, you know, the, it, the only reasons why they're not, in my experience, is because I've had bad strafes on them, so the armor would be sloped. You're supposed to hit the top of the vehicle for maximum damage, but they are insane for taking out planes. 10 damage per hit of each cannon, so it's up to 20 per burst, and they're slower rate of fire but they're very damaging and they can also damage the pilot for between 35 and 40 damage per hit so the pilot dies before the plane which means plane is out of action which means bombers as well they're out of action you disable engines so quickly and it's 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 a terror of the sky i went on so many kill streaks and my friend was in an 88 and i basically one person spawned in and about one strafe later they died so you know there's things i've spent my specialization coins on and i'm not going to spend them on a skin because that's just stupid when i can unlock a in my opinion better skin for completing challenges and i like that system it's amazing and i love it because the people who actually put effort into games get to show off the fact that they put effort into games however i don't like it when people have to look at guides but I understand it because some things like finding the letters is a little challenging. But in this in this one, it's kind of obvious because it's very linear and, you know, that just makes it much easier to find letters. Some people, you know, don't look. So that's the issue. And some people like going loud, which is the opposite of what you want to do in a stealth mission sometimes. But whatever. But we're going to continue this because I've been rambling. Cat, nach rechts. Wir müssen sie flankieren. Jawohl, Kommandant. Sie scheinen sich schnell zu nähern, Kommandant. Sie beide halten die Augen offen, damit uns das nicht auch passiert. Sie sind bereit. Die, bitch. That's an issue I had when I was doing the um, campaign, uh, like this mission on easy, is I would, I would, right now, I would have about 20 health. Because I kept, got hit by the packs, I got hit by those tanks, I just was not doing good. Die! Great! Losing health. 
Son of a bitch. Oh, and these things are annoying. I forgot how loud this game was. It's even worse than surround sound. Die! There we go. And I know my mic is quiet too, so you guys can barely hear me, if you can at all. Jeez, get out of my way. Dumbass turret. Alright, so. This range. I don't know how this rangefinder works on the tank, but I know for certain that I got the uh, 175 achievement by being around here. Oh my god. Terrible aim. Bullet spread is bad. Where's the tank? There was a tank back there, I remember it. I swear there was a tank back there. I'm not crazy. Maybe it's... Oh, maybe I need to get closer. Yeah, I need to get closer. Oh, not quite. Like, I've played this mission so much, I know the exact angles. Alright, hold on. Oh, this flashing repair symbol is so annoying. I want to repair just to get rid of the fucking symbol that's just popping up, but I can't, and I won't. Alright. This is the position I usually take up. Sehen Sie zu, dass wir immer irgendeine Deckung haben. Schröder und Hartmann, Sie feuern nur, wenn Sie ein Ziel haben. Because what happens is they take up position over there. They two or three come from there and then one comes from over here or one or two. Fuck off. Fuck off. Nice rockets, dumbass. Oh, and I love doing this. Can that go away? Really don't like this being in my way. I missed because this shit's in my way. This is not the same positioning I took up last time. So, already some of those shots were over 125 meters, and granted, that's not the that's not the challenge. Uh, 175, rather. That's not the uh, challenge that the menu says I have an issue with. But I just want to prove a fact that even up in this up and coming part, uh, if you guys don't think that was a above 175 meter shot, then these shots I'm about to take, you better not think are not over 175 because you're mentally insane if you don't think so. Der 
ist ein Hinterhalt. Schröder! Germans. Hey, die viele Panzer haben die wohl. Ganz ruhig. Wir schaffen das. Sollen sie nur kommen. Like I said, that's definitely over 175 meters. Bericht. Wir werden uns nicht lange halten können. Jemand muss da raus uns einen Weg suchen. Schicken Sie Hartmann. Wovon zur Hölle reden Sie da? Der Mann ist nicht in der Verfassung. Vertrauen Sie auf unsere Stärke. Das waren doch eure Worte, oder? Keine Schwäche, keine Sentimentalität. Oh, Herr Gott, noch mal. Sie sind zu wichtig. Das können wir nicht riskieren. Und ich, ich bediene das Geschütz. Ach, dann mache ich das eben. 
Nein, Sie müssen fahren. Aber Hartmann, der ist doch eh eingeschlagen. Austauschbar. Wollen Sie ihn wirklich da rausschicken? Hartmann! Ja? Steigen Sie aus dem Panzer. Suchen Sie uns da draußen einen Weg ins Freie. Ach Gott, nochmal, Müller, nein, der Mann ist nicht in der Verfassung. Bitte, Peter, ich kann wirklich... Raus aus dem Panzer, Hartmann. Ich möchte, dass Sie Ihre Pflicht tun. Das gilt für jeden hier. Wo ist Hartmann? Wo ist der hin? Der desertiert. Das wissen Sie doch gar nicht. Ruhe! Hören Sie das? Bewegung auf 9 Uhr. Und auf 12 Uhr. Bringen Sie uns raus hier. Wir können doch Hartmann nicht hier lassen. So, this is the next part. This is the second uh, of three parts in the Last Tiger uh, War Story. And as you can see once more, I have completed all the challenges and have found all the letters. However, the main menu decides otherwise. Just proving that once again, in-game, I have done it. And I can tell you, I can even tell you which letter is glitched out for me because this letter glitch appeared back when I first finished streaming this campaign. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It is even on that stream. Oh, I guess I didn't. It, I guess it didn't save. I don't know. Actually, was that? I don't know if it was after the stream and I went back to do the challenges like, oh, I guess it didn't save. And the only letter I picked up was in the second stealth part. It's by a dead body on the third floor of a abandoned house or <laughs> decimated house to say. But I've completed both challenges, but I will attempt to do them again. This first part does not count for the... Um, stealth because it says on foot this is not the on foot part once we get out of the tank then it will start that challenge and i already have a foolproof strategy it's just executing it and there's a couple of you know gamer fucking what was it the gaming gods rgn shit yeah it's rgn um that sometimes messes with it but for the most part, the first part is easy as hell. The second part is a little bit of RGN luck. Um, 
as to positioning of people. But I'll show you what I mean when I get there. And the second uh, stealth mission in this mission is not hard at all. In fact, I went through it earlier and literally just shot everybody once they got to a certain point and they just never found me. So it's sad, but true. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you for those who can't figure out how to do it because the way to do it is actually um, not so obvious because doing it is difficult, especially the first part if you don't have a, a proper weapon. And I'm going to show you where that weapon is. And I'm going to pause every time I speak because I got a new uh, headset recently and like not recently, but a while ago. It's a great headset. I love it. But the microphone quality, the one thing I was worried about, it's too low. The microphone's not that bad. It's not like as uh, people joke, it's not Walmart quality, but it's not God tier quality either. And it's very low. In fact, my mic is as high as it goes and right in front of my mouth. So yeah, it's, it's uh, not that good, but still not the worst mic I've had, but I'm going to need to pause every time because I'm not in a party like I normally am with the game mix volume like halfway up so you can hear me better than the game and instead the game is extremely loud because i don't mess with the audio settings all that much besides music because music i put in my own music when i'm playing and that makes it even better than listening to the battlefield music mostly because i it's weird but i turn off the music in game and listen to their soundtrack on the side because there's only certain songs that i like some songs i like better i like all of them but you know i'm rambling again let's go I'm going to uh, pause once we get out of the tank, and I'm going to show you guys where to go, what weapon to grab, what to grab, and, in fact, one of the... Actually, you know what? I could tell you where all the fucking letters are, because I know them, and I haven't looked... I haven't looked up a guide. I never did, and that's what pisses me off, because my friend was like... he's He was in a party with me when I was doing it, and he's like, oh, ho, ho, you can't, you can't do it without a guide. I'm like bet bitch because i never like it was the second playthrough of the mission and you know i got through i was really excited and it glitched so Hey, what up, Lamau? Let me just slide up into your DMs real quick. Oh, I missed my shot. Run him over. Run him over. Run someone over? Nah. No. Bam, one hit kill, bam, dead, bam, I won't even repair in this mission, fuck it, I don't need a repair. Let me just quickly slide into your DMs real quick. Oh, that was a one hit last time I shot like that. Must have been off a little bit, whatever. And magically, they're gone. Fuck out of my way, bitch. Fuck out of my way, bitch. Scheiße, komm schon. 
Stefan, das ist jetzt echt kein guter Zeitpunkt. Wir können sich reparieren. Vielleicht. Dauert aber eine Weile. Was ist mit dem Panzerknacker? Ach, Gerz. Bringen Sie Stefan wieder zum Laufen. Ich schlage mich zu den Flugabwehrgeschützen durch. Du bist verrückt, Peter! Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you a little walkthrough of where to go. Um, I'm going to show you the first letter location and the immediately just basically where you should go immediately right off the bat. Außerhalb des Panzers war die Welt unmittelbarer. Der Geruch von Blut und Tod. Ohne meine stählerne Hülle und... So for those that know, don't know, I just picked up the Commando Carbine, which in real life is how I figured out uh, what I'm about to say. In real life and a quick Google search says that this was a Leon Field modified to have a suppressor, not a silencer. So it is a quiet but not silent weapon. So firing it near enemies will get you alerted enemies, at, but firing from a good distance where normally, you know, you'd hear the reverb more of the gun actually going off, then that's better because suppressor would uh, quiet down the rever reverb enough that it won't go as far as an unsuppressed or unsilenced weapon. But silencers would reduce it as much as possible, making them nearly completely dead silent, except if you're at the other end of the barrel. And, well, if a gun goes off and you're at the other end of the barrel, you shouldn't be alerting anybody anyway. So, the first letter location is somewhere in this rubble. I think it was. Um, basically, it's around this area along the side. I think it's like it was right here or something. But the issue is you cannot pick up the letters or see the letters after you've picked them up. So I don't know exactly where it is, but I can give you the general location just like the game would. Once you walk up here to grab the weapon, it'll actually alert you. Hey, you're near a collectible. You just look around. You'll find it easily. You're gonna definitely want to spot all these enemies. There's two more back there. I just spotted one of them. Crouch sprint, because that reduces your noise. You can pick up an STG or a Model 5 shotgun, but I don't recommend it. Here, because you have the suppressed Lee infield, you're gonna want to shoot the medic in the head so he can't revive any teammates. But he'll also be the bait for later on, and I'll show you what I mean. That guy, you throw a lure to get his attention, try to bring him out here. Crouch and stay behind here. Once he stops moving and you see his little, you know, hollow stop moving, then you peek around and pop in the head. Nobody will see him, nobody will hear it, and you're all set and done with him. Why? Because those guys are dumb and looking the wrong way. Next, you walk up to this window right here and just throw a lure. It'll land, you know, somewhere right there, and that's where you want. So each, and this is what I find hilarious, is one guy at a time goes and everybody else's suspicions go away. This guy's going to see, uh, walk to the lure and then see the body. And that's why it's important to kill the medic before alerting these guys. And then you pop him in the head. And guess what we do now? We fuck with the AI as much as it will, because every single guy that walks forward will go near the lure, and as long as you throw it out into the middle of the street long enough and they look down that street, then what will happen, oh, I didn't spot this guy, is that they will actually run to the bodies. And that gets them farther enough, far away enough that they, uh, people that are left here won't see you drop the person, which will immediately alert them. And which, in this challenge, you know, you don't want that to happen. So by keeping them out of sight when you kill them you get a nice body pile i guess and i find this i found this funny because i guess i really got glitched out because recently i actually deleted the application and reinstalled it hoping it would fix the bug and it didn't but and then this guy you don't really need to lure away you can just shoot him in the head but um, alongside the challenges not being gif given to me, the uh, ammo pouches would despawn really quick. And I think that's what they did here. 
But that's also a glitch that needs to be fixed. All right, they didn't do. Because I was left with like five shots after this part, which I took out three people with the bullets over here. And then I was left with two shots for the next part. All right, so next letter you're going to want to find is going to be up here. Come on. In. Come on. Actually, you know what? Just go in this because the letter will be right here on this table. That's the next letter. So that's two out of six letters in your inventory. And this tank seems to be taking a long time to take that corner. All right. Now, let's just head up here. Grab anti-tank weapons for later on, because we're going to need to take that guy out. And your third letter will be up here on this dead body. It'll actually be like right around here, right there, somewhere like that. Um, and you just pick it up and bam, that's your third out of six letter. That is actually the letter that is uh, what I can assume is glitched out for me. I changed my mind. I'm fucking with the audio settings because I can't even hear myself talk. Oh, I did turn it down. I turned it down even. I'll turn it down to 40. Because this game is awkwardly loud. I do recommend... Ah, um, uh, shit. You can't go in here, can you? Okay. <sighs> I do recommend you go up here and spot everybody out. So you're gonna have one guy there. You're gonna have a medic in the background. He does roam around, so if you don't see him, just wait a moment. You'll be able to see him in a moment. That's the second support. And then you got one assault, two assault, and another medic that roams on this area here. There he is. That's all the infantry. The tank is already spotted. So we can, uh, tank's gonna be a bit, I guess we could attempt it. Nope, you don't see me. You're going crazy. Stupid American. Thinks he sees someone. I'm very uncomfortable right now because those guys are awkwardly close to me. What's a miracle is that tank buster plane uh, as they call it, doesn't see me. Alright, so here comes your Sherman. This isn't a jumbo. That is not... I don't think it's a jumbo. It actually might be a jumbo. But you're gonna patrol around this tank. And I'll be safe and sound. I think that's a Sherman Firefly. Oh, shit. I don't normally take this long because I don't normally show you guys where collectibles are. I don't, don't normally show anybody where collectibles are because I already, you know, have them. No, nobody's there. Go back to your patrol, you dumb shit. Alright. So then what you're going to want to do is pop this guy in the head. Well, actually, eh, shoulder-ish area because... No, nobody's moving over there. You should go check it out, though. And then pop this guy in the back. Now, oh, shit. Not every time will these guys actually, uh, like, that guy actually come down. This guy never really comes down. Uh, I usually sneak up behind him. But feeling extra snipey today. So we're going to shoot everybody in the back. Now, I'm going to give you guys a little word of advice. Uh, after killing off these last guys. Ah, uh, shit. One. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Two. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And let's wait for the tank to move by before popping this last guy. Three. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Alright. So. Little advice. Um, I recommend setting up your tank trap uh, over here. Make sure you do pick up two sets of dynamite so you have four sticks. Otherwise, you will not instantly blow up the tank. 
And after you do that, do yourself a favor. Get on the anti-aircraft gun. You don't need to shoot down the plane. They don't see you yet. You're not spotted. Get on it. Bam. And then get off. See? They don't know I'm here. They got no clue. Why? Because we haven't blown up the tank yet. You see, I made the mistake on my first playthrough, I don't know if it was on stream or after the stream, to, that I blew up the tank and then got on the AA gun. And that alerts the planes. Fun fact, the planes do count as enemies. So in order to actually get the stealth challenge, you cannot blow up the tank until after you get on the AA gun. And I'll even I'll even pause it to make sure you guys hear this. Do not blow up the tank before you get on the AA gun. Otherwise, you will not get the challenge. The blowing like the blowing up of the tank actually alerts the planes, which means you have been spotted before you get on the AA gun. The easiest way to do it is just get on and get off, blow up the tank so when you start firing at the uh, planes, the tank doesn't come for you. And then shoot down the planes and then get in your tank. Another way, I haven't tested the theory, so if you guys want to test it yourself, um, I think you could do it, is when the plane goes overhead and goes away, then blow up the tank. But I don't think that will work because game mechanics. And cut, boom. Notice now that they're striping me. Sons of bitches. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Fuck off. I don't have a lot of health. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna hate doing this on hardcore. Shoot for the fucking wing or the fucking fuselage. Rear of the fuselage, come on. Oh, come on, I'm so good in AAs usually. No. 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 Wait, oh, that should have hit. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. There we go. Shoot down all three and run. Run to your tank. Why? Because that thing, that thing's got a 20 millimeter and it's rapid fire. <sighs> Get in and fuck that little bitch up. Now, I myself haven't quite figured out where the uh, ammo rack is in these tanks because apparently it's not on the side where it is in War Thunder, and War Thunder takes their fucking research serious. Like, um, I beg to say that War Thunder is probably one of the most accurate, uh, accurate um, simulations of. You see, that's an ammo racking right there. When white sparks come out, out I do believe. Like, you can hear the ammunition blowing up in the tank, too. But, like, you can also one hit. You see, there's one hitting, and then there's ammo racking. They're both the same thing, technically. Oh, shit, I can't get out of the tank, can I? Shit. I missed a collectible for you guys. Um, shit. Um, I do believe. Can't quite remember which it was in, but... Either that alleyway in the back, I think it was, or I'm going to give you three locations that I can't quite uh, remember. I know it's on the street. It's either in that alleyway back there, this alleyway right here, or in this apartment. I don't quite remember. And if it's in this apartment, I do believe it's on the first floor uh, just before the stairs because... The stairs in that building, I do believe, are blocked off after after the second floor. So, it would be almost immediately. Now, this one is interesting. Like, this upcoming part. Because I nearly walked away from the 
sixth and final uh, letter because I thought maybe there's a part that I could get out of the tank after that I forgot about, but I didn't, and I almost missed it, and it's so clever. I'm going to show you guys where this uh, first letter is first. Alright. So, once you get out of here, you could either go um, up there, start killing them, and get the, uh, continue the objective, basically. Or, you can be the anti-sneak, like I was, and run back here. Because, yeah, you can run through here, but not you can't get your tank through here because the tank traps. So, you just come all the way back here. And it'll alert you that, hey, you're in a collectible area. I think either once you get down here or once you're up there. But the um, the letter would be, I do believe it's on this table right here. You grab that letter and you run away like a sneaky bitch that you are. I would have thought they would have hidden a weapon in here or something more that they than what they got. Like, is there some, like, is there a zombie on the other side of this door? Is there, wait, I don't, I can't, I can't tell if there's actually music on the other side of that door or if it's like a hanging windowsill or something or like a broken door. I don't know, but that is this area all set and done. You don't need to be here anymore. So that would be, what is that? So three was the dead body. Four was like one of the alleyways or that area. That's five. And then the, so then the fifth, uh, the sixth rather, and the final, um, oh, wrong weapon. And bop you in the head. Cause I want to show you guys the sixth and final letter. Once you walk through here, it'll immediately alert you. Hey, you're near a letter. Uh, I do believe it was either on this briefcase on one of these tables. God, I don't know. Just don't go past this area because that's where the enemies are. And, you know, it's the, the, the final letter's not out there. And then, it's you know, it's just in this area. I, it's one of the two locations I said or somewhere else. I don't quite remember because this one I got a while ago. It was one of the... Uh, no, not the one of the first, because literally the next time I went through, I got all the letters. Nope, you didn't see me. I hate doing this part from this position. All right, he stops. Pop him. Now the sniper gets alerted. Pop. Yep, you pop the sniper. You see, can you see why I said when I got two bullets... Oh, fuck, okay. I'm going to restart from the last checkpoint because I just want to, you know, get through. And that does, by the way, that does reset me getting spotted. So I will, uh, technically the checkpoint is back here. And when you do collect collectibles, like the letters, they do save after you reset. So don't worry too much about that. If you even are, which I don't think anyone is. Because they're all professional at this and don't fucking fuck up like I just did. But then again, I was in a non-favored position. So that's my self-defense. What's yours, bitches? Oh, wait, you don't need any because you guys are good at this game and I'm not. <laughs> but this is where I like to take them all out from. So you got one guy there. Then the medic goes off. He stops moving. Ah, uh, no, no, Mr. Medic. Nobody, nobody's here. I'll just let you do your rotation so I don't fuck up again. God damn it. I was just about to make the remark of like, oh, I know so much because I fucking played this mission so much. Or these sets of missions. But I immediately failed my shot, so I kept my mouth shut. Nobody's moving. Nope, nobody's, nobody's back there. Just sh shut up. And then this guy's never alerted. So it's just like, yep, pop those two guys. Then the medic should be coming out and around. Where is he? There he is. 
you don't want to pop him too quick because that guy that was on the sandbags will see you pop him and that alerts them so you're going to want to be stealthy and sneaky now i'm not 100 percent sure uh, if opening the door alerts them, but I remember one time I opened the door and magically they were alerted So I wouldn't recommend opening the door uh, until you kill all the enemies But you know, you shouldn't open that door until you kill all the enemies anyway so I don't quite remember where this guy stops Nope I remember the one time I uh, when I completed the challenge I actually lured him over here for some reason I don't know how he got over here. Like, he was, like, over here, and he saw me pop the support class, and he came over to investigate the dead body. It was weird, but I got it, so that's all that matters. Yep, and he sees the dead body. Make sure that he can't revive his friend, because... Medics actually do that in the campaign. I've witnessed a medic attempt to revive his friend. So this next part, you're going to want to take a little bit uh, smoother than just killing that guy. Because there's another guy back here. Somehow, he can't see you do that. I don't know how. Don't ask me how. Alright, and then the next guy should be like right here. Yep. So we threw a, throw a lower... A lure! God, English, come on. I, well, it's midnight, so, you know, I'm kind of... I'm not really tired. But, like, uh, you know, slurring the words. Because it's late. And... Pop him. He doesn't get alerted, but we can see... Oh, no, nope, he does get alerted to the body. But we pop him in the back of the head. And that's the second challenge done. That's all six letters and both challenges done. EA. Dice. Not EA. I meant DICE. EA's the shitty develop uh, <laughs> developers. No. EA's the shitty fucking marketing team that was terrible with their marketing this year. The DICE did a good job with their game for what they had. So this is an automatic alert. This is nothing. Uh, bop. And bap. There's four enemies that spawn. And the thing is, is that if you don't kill everybody outside and go for the thing, which, you know, it's perfectly fine. You can do it that way. However, those people actually are alerted too. So it goes from four enemies to however many you did not kill. So I recommend killing all of them. Makes your time easier. But yeah, that's basically this mission done. Oh god, get off the thing. That's all the challenges at least. Uh, the mission's almost over. But just to throw it in people's faces, I'm still not going to repair. If I've already repaired, then I've forgotten my challenge to myself to not repair. Fuck off. Twenty millimeter bitch boy. Come here. I know you're twenty mil. I've seen the specialization. Ow. Okay, woo wah. I've forgotten how many fucking things are here. Whoa! How'd you sneak by me? And then one more. Oh, wow. Jeepus Christ. Alright. We are all good here. That's the last of that. No more enemies. So, bam. Finish that mission, I do believe, without even repairing. And that's not a challenge, so... Not even, like, that it matters. Alright, cutscene. I do like how they turn on their lights. It's pretty cool.
Hartmann? Dieser Idiot! Halten Sie den Mund! Er hat seine Pflicht getan, liebe Frau. Seine Pflicht? Nein, er war ein Verräter. Einer von uns. Fahren Sie weiter zum Hauptquartier. sind allein. Bleiben Sie, wo Sie sind. Ich besorge uns ein intaktes Funkgerät. Man, I fucking remembered that I muted my mic. All right, so this is the final of the three last Tiger missions, and the only thing you have to do is these said challenges right here. This is actually the only playing field that you have. So... Uh, challenges, kill a Kalopa tank, uh, from 30 meters away, which is really easy in completing the chapter without repairing. More difficult because of how many tanks there are. Like, there's a lot of fucking tanks. Sobald meine Männer in Sicherheit sein würden, würde ich Zeit haben, über alles nachzudenken und die Lage zu bewerten. Das redete ich mir jedenfalls ein. Damals habe ich meine eigenen Lügen nicht erkannt. Achtung, Achtung! Alle Truppen, die den Fluss noch nicht überquert haben, müssen den Rückzug mit allen Mitteln sichern. Lassen Sie niemanden auf die Brücke. Halten Sie die All right. And bambo. We gotta save as many hit points at this early part as possible. Because they have a little bit of a drop on us because, you know, we just got, we just spawned and they got three barrels looking at us. Oh, I ammo racked that guy. I know where the ammo rack is on a fucking Sherman tank. I play War Thunder. I've memorized that shit. A Kalope. This is as close as you can possibly get to the Kalope. By the way. He's not a traitor. He hasn't done anything. Stop being such a fucking bitch. Schroderman. Schroderman. Schroderman? I don't fucking know. Even though, you know, they pronounced it earlier. Schroderman. It's like Pac-Man, but Schroderman. Bam. Stop ricocheting rounds, bitch. Oh, yeah. Ammo rack. Come on, get close to it. I dare you. Oh, no? Okay. Because that actually does damage to tanks when they get close. That's why I always aim for the ammo rack. Oh, shit. There goes my phone. It is dead. Guter Schuss. Erneut feuern. 
Ah, shit, that's too high. Yep, 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 yep. Sneak it through the wood. Oh, shit. I killed him with the, an the, with the other guy's ammo rack. Oh, shit. There goes the internet connection. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't cut out the entire stream. Bap. Nope. Miss. You're not really missing anything. If it's, uh, I don't know if the image is returned or not, but if it hasn't, you're not really missing anything. It's the same shit over and over again. Don't really worry. If you want a non-broken stream, go watch my other stream when I actually fucking do it. I promise you, though, I'm receiving a lot of fire and I'm not repairing. Oh, fuck. Where'd you come from? Why oh, that infantry is still alive? That's a lot of fucking 7.62s that you've survived, my friend. Oh, shit. Someone on my six. Come on. Fucking turn the breach. Oh, I know that's not the proper terminology, but, you know, technically the breach is turning with the barrel. Ooh. Because, you know, that's where they have to place the rat. No penetration because the guy's dead. <laughs> I just shot at a dead tank because, you know, it wasn't dead. And then the fire apparently destroyed it. Oh, that's another Kalop. And they're still spawning. Move, move, move. Rocket, rocket, rocket. Oh, ammo rack. I got an ammo rack on that Kalop. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. And I really feel bad because I think I'm pronouncing it wrong. You're not going to peek? Okay, I'll just shoot your treads. What up, bitch? It's ja boy, Tiger Tank. Or, uh, I don't remember what the nickname was. Burn. Burn, baby, burn. Oh my god, I know you got stellinium. You must have stellinium wood on your vehicle. It's not regular wood, it's stellinium wood. And everybody knows that's played War Thunder. Stellinium wood is worth about a thousand millimeters of frontal armor. Come on! Bam! All right, that's all the land vehicles. Hopefully, because I only have 39 health. Yeah, that's it. They got a loading symbol. Run! Yep, artillery inbound. Fucking, we're out of here. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Go. Go, go, go. Yes. Yes. Did it without repairing, and we killed a call up within 30 meters. So, once again, yes, we have completed all the challenges. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Climb! You stupid shit. I'm holding forward. Oh, oh, no. Wow. Look, the bridge broke. <sighs> It's not like I've seen this cutscene hundreds of times. <laughs> What's this button do? Hmm. That's what that button does. <laughs> Oh, dude, I love ancient laptops. They're so slow. Das weißt du nicht, Katz. Komm, wir müssen jetzt. Was? Starke Zeichen. Ärger noch. Sieh dich doch um, Peter. Gott steh uns bei. Alles, woran wir geglaubt haben. Alles, was wir dafür getan haben. Es ist vorbei. Nein, Katz. Komm. Tu das nicht, Katz. Peter, es ist vorbei.
This is actually a pretty dramatic ending. And every time I watch it, I kind of like cry a little on the inside because it's so sad. Like, I hate this gunner so much. That guy is the gunner of the tank. Soderman, was it Soderman or Hotterman? I don't remember what the fucking guy's name was, but you know. From earlier, the guy that deserted back at the beginning. He was the radio operator, I do believe it was. I think he's a radio operator. That guy that you play is obviously the commander. The guy, Kurtz, is the driver. The other guy that's fucking still fighting is the gunner. And I hate it because everybody else besides the gunner has a bond except for the fucking gunner because he's a new. And this new shit literally just kills his own crew. Granted, you know, that he's, you know, doing his country proud or whatever. He's just following his training. But, like, if it was the other gunner that they had earlier, I doubt that would have happened. Because... Everybody at this point has gone through the breaking point. They've all given up. But that guy hasn't because he hasn't been through nearly enough shit. And you can tell. And it's sad because you can literally watch him point the gun as the character you played and then shoot. And you know that's the MP40, which is the gun he has in his hand, because what the Americans use and the Germans use, they sound very different when they fire. And it's, it's sad. So that was um, the entire uh, war story. And as you can see, I did every single challenge in this stream, and I still haven't gotten it, because it is permanently glitched. And that's why this stream is here, because I can't get this skin, and it's a very good skin. I, like, I want this skin more than this or this. This one's cool because, you know, it's the classic Tiger E is it Tiger? Yeah, the Tiger. I don't remember if the Tiger E is the one, like in War Thunder, the Tiger E is the one with this skin, or if this is the Tiger H1 that has this skin. But it's fucking, it pisses me off that I can't get this skin because this one is cool and I really like it. It's, it just pisses me off, man. And I can't fix it. 
And if anybody knows how to fix it, just type a comment and I will see it. Because I read every single one of my comments because, you know, I don't get many comments. And even if I were to get a lot of comments, I would still read them all. A while ago, I did a... Oh, God, that was a while ago. Over a year ago, I did a nine-hour stream on Life is Strange. Great game. Check it out for yourself if you haven't. If you don't have the money to get it, check out my stream. I played through the entire uh, five episodes, which you have to pay for individually. But I played through all of it, and I had... God, I had uh, my ex in the stream, and I had another random in the stream, and you know they were just chatting it up, and I found it hilarious. And I was just reading their comments as we, as like as it went through, and afterwards, you know, any comments that I missed as it was finishing, because you know I was trying to figure out why my fucking mic was muted for the past twenty minutes at the end, which still bothers me to this day. Um, but. I read there was a hundred views on that and a lot more than that comments during the stream. So I'm trying to fucking log in <laughs> to my computer so I can read the comments that are going through now because my phone died and that's how I was looking at it because I'm too lazy to set up my laptop which is slow as shit. Uh, fuck you. Oh, great. So that one. Oh, that's why. Can I just copy and paste? No. Fuck. I'm not ending the stream until I read the comments. <laughs> you will listen to me furiously type in the menu in my fucking laptop that is ancient to shit and it's slow as hell. It's actually three or four years old and it 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 takes <sighs> It takes more time to load a web browser, to load the web browser, not like um, load a, uh, like a web page. It takes a lot more time to load the web browser than for it to power on. And it takes a while to power on. Oh my god, stop, stop being a bitch. It's being, oh my god, stop being buggy. And it takes even longer for me. No, stop, no. You send this fucking computer notifications and it will never load shit. No, that's not what I want. I can't remember how to access the uh, I'll just fucking click on my own video, I guess, because I know there's a way to watch the stream through like a chat and it doesn't count as you watching. And that's what I like because I don't want to watch my own fucking video. Uh, OK, hang on. That. Uh. So, the person that's in my chat is apparently my, still my, um, Milsim, one of my Milsim recruits that is just <sighs> absolutely just fucking outgoing as hell, which I like, but just sometimes it can be annoying, and when those sometimes is like 12 in the morning, and they're sending me documents that are not that important, that I need to proofread. Thank you. You could have saved it for tomorrow when I'm awake. Fuck boy. But <clears throat> um, answer the questions. Why don't I talk instead? Of, <laughs> fuck you. Why don't I talk instead of type? Because I don't. It, it for me, it's weird. 
to read off the chat because no one else no one else can see it because usually I only get like one or two people usually that actually are in the stream. So it's like me talking to myself, which I do anyway, but it's weird to have half a conversation. I talk to myself and like it makes sense because granted my brain is the other half of the conversation, but I speak that other half of the conversation and I don't want to read out comments because that's unnatural and I like being natural. So I just normally read them. So for people, like if you, guys are watching this after the stream because no one else is joining but because especially considering this is going to end in a couple of minutes but if you guys got to this point of the stream and you guys are occasionally on my streams first of all hello second of all i don't miss your comments i actually read every single comment that comes through and i just don't read them out i see what you guys are saying and i take advice where i think i should take the advice Except for when people tell me to go fuck myself, because sorry, <laughs> internet haters are fun. Um, but next question is, is the MMG God the one you get from Tides of War this week? Um, Tides of War, and I can show you guys. Uh, Tides of War um, gives you rewards weekly. No, skip the fucking cutscenes. So this time I got, you know, restore your health, supply teammates with bandages, you know, uh, do this shit. And then this is your um, reward this week is the VGO MMG. I told that I messaged everybody in the Milsim saying, hey, guys, uh, Tides of War just dropped. Uh, first reward this week is an MMG, MMG called the VGO. That's all I said. Get out there get this uh, MMG if you're interested. I have not used it. As you can see, my Tides of War progress is not quite there, but I will get it. Actually, um, uh, hang on. Actually, this is a, it's very awkward because they actually have someone else in the stream. Um, I want to like I love being able to interact with the audience because it's nice to actually you know I don't like doing shit for myself all the time I like doing uh, what other people want unless it unless it's out of my comfort zone uh, the only way you can get, make me do something out of my comfort zone is if I'm dating you so good luck with that one ladies and gentlemen because no um <laughs> I didn't even ask a question but he's already answered it. I was gonna ask. Should I try to get the VGO in the stream? Try with a <laughs> little grain of salt because I can absolutely get the VGO in the stream. But, yeah. I'm not dating you. Stop hitting on me. <laughs> but I don't really... Because it, now it comes into the fact if someone joins the stream, they'll see me playing multiplayer. And then it looks like clickbait. Whereas I've already done it. So what I'm going to do for those who are in the stream, just, you know, my... Uh, <clears throat> acquaintance angel not boyfriend shut up i'm not even looking at the chat i'm going to start a new stream and i'm going to title it getting the vgo and i'm going to get the vgo because i don't like clickbait and i'm going to get the vgo that's this is part of the reason why i have nine hour streams because it's like completing Titanfall 2's campaign on Master. Well, I said completing, so I can't cut in the middle. <clears throat> Nine hours later, <laughs> fucking hell. That was fun, but difficult. And that was the first year anniversary for Titanfall 2, and I'm not going to do another video for Titanfall 2 because uh, games kind of died. I love the game, but uh, I've gotten out of the swing of it, literally. I used to be swinging around. I used to be a fucking god in the skies, tearing up first place in overall in the game every single round. I just <laughs> I didn't play it for a while, and I got back in because they're like, oh, yeah, I still have this game. And I just I couldn't do it. So now I play games like uh, Battlefield Five. Um, that's really it. I don't game a lot anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Uh, fuck you. I read this chat. All right, so I'm gonna cut the stream. I'm gonna start another one. Uh, Angel, you can just refresh my YouTube page, and it'll be there in a moment. I just have to set up the title and whatever. But I hope you guys have enjoyed me being 
rambling and pissy because I can't get the tiger skin. And I really want the tiger skin because it's a really good skin. And I feel bad for whoever just uh, joined the stream because I'm ending it. Hi and bye.